Hi guys, it's Loretta with Sparrow Hawker Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it has been a hot minute since I have been on, but I, uh, once again, had uh, some unforeseen health issues and um, spent a couple days in the hospital. And um, I, I just want to say that if your potassium gets too low, you can die, as I almost found out. So, anyway, I have finished the... Um, last two pages for the texture book for my granddaughter. This is house number six and this is house number ten. Um, so in this one I uh, put two little hearts here as you can see. I don't know why everybody tells you what it is you can see what it is. <laughs> but anyway um, I embroidered her, her name and her birth date and then this says, remembering the sweet, simple things. This was uh, a part of a, um, a salvage edge of cotton fabric. And I have, this is a vintage yo-yo that, uh, oh my gosh, I, don't, I have a whole bag of them. And some cheesecloth here. And so the idea for this book was to use up some of my plaids, some of my plaid scraps. So um, it so that's what I did. There's two different plabs, and this this actually, believe it or not, is I mean I got this at like a garage, not a garage sale, but like an antique mall, a whole bag of them, and it completely matches my plabs that I had in my scrap box. I I mean couldn't be more perfect. Anyway, and then I had um, this beautiful little pink and blue tatting. Um, and put that on there. Just some burrow stitching in the background and just blanket stitch around. Um, and then this is number 10. This is the last house in the book. And uh, I just decided to go real happy with this one. <clears throat> and um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there, there's like a gold sparkly thread that runs through this particular plaid uh, which I thought was really cute um, this is just something I cut off of some fabric um, and this was a doily I had that I dyed kind of a blue gray I guess with some writ um, writ packaging the package dyeing uh, and actually I dyed this as well these were these were snow white um, the background on this, so most of these I used some of my cream scraps that were left over from other projects. This one I actually put down part of a dresser scarf, and I still did some borrow stitching in the background. <clears throat> put some beads here. Again, if you're going to make something like this, make sure it's for a child old enough that they won't try to chew these off, or... Don't use them. <laughs> one of the, one of the two. So anyway, so that's house number six and number ten, and it is officially. I'm officially done with the houses. Um, so this is her birthday is in March. I'm really hoping to get the whole book done. So here to show you very quickly. Um, this fabric, <clears throat> I think, is a little bold and a little loud for this particular project, but. Um, most of it's going to be covered up with a uh, beige uh, em embroidery piece that's going to go over top of it. So in that respect, I think you can have like big, bold fabrics that don't really, like, what am I ever going to use this for, right? Um, I mean, I could fussy cut out the butterflies and that kind of thing, but it's not a fabric that I would generally use for anything. And that's fine because I'm going to cover most of it. So that kind of stuff works pretty good. So I just wanted to show you how I'm putting this book together. So on the inside, I have taken a very old piece of fabric also. Um, this is like a chair cover or something. I've cut it way too big. So I am going to sew here and sew here. And then I will trim off the excess, okay? It's way too big. And so what I've done, eventually, uh, so yeah, you can see just how it's way too big. So I'm going to sew it and trim it way down. But it's better to cut it too big than to cut it too small. <laughs> 
So here, what I have done is I am going to, I took two long pieces of fabric. The one that you would put down first should be cut slightly longer than the one that goes in second because when they all fold together, uh, you need the front page to um, match up evenly, right? So I always cut the very first page a little bit longer than I do the second one. Either way, um, so this will go on this page. So you can see that these are all still way too big, right? It's um, So this is probably gonna fit over here closer like that. I will trim all of this down, right? So I won't need, I won't need that much. Um, but just to show you, so that's, so this is gonna actually be over also. So how you get this on here, you can choose however you want. You could use a two-sided fusible if you wanted and iron it on. Obviously don't iron it from this side, you would iron it from this side. Um, uh, you can use hot glue, you can use uh, fabric glue, I tend to use the Aileen's Tacky Glue, or you can stitch it. You can just go in and just tack it. Um, you can tack it in places where your stitches won't be seen. Um, however you want to get it on the page is, is up to you. Anyway, so then that will be, so this is house number one, number two, three, and then here's where I added the second page, four, five is going to be there, and then six. It's just basically just like I did uh, the bird song book. Um, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like I said, don't don't be too distracted by how you know this doesn't match or anything is this is going to be cut down because I'm also probably going to after I trim these and I'm probably going to put um, uh, some kind of ruffle lace trim or something in between the two pages so it'll be coming out like that but this is just my preliminary I cut everything way too big and then I will uh, sew it together and then trim everything down. So, um, and how you, how you get these into the books. So here's, here's what this is gonna look like in the middle, right? This is not too thick to fit under a sewing machine, especially if you have a walking foot. So you could literally just sew right there and your pages are now in your book. Um, you could also hand stitch it. You could go back and forth a couple of times. You could use a fancy thread if you wanted. Um, you could also glue it. If you're gonna glue it, I would glue this one to this one first, and then this one to, to, to the actual backing. Um, so let me take all of these out of here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so, so yeah, so this is your, these are the pages of your book. Hope you can still see all that. So yeah, so you will just sew down the middle and then attach your pages, the ones that you've stitched, to these pages. Um, or um, you can do whatever you want, like whatever, if you have a favorite method already, feel free to use it. Um, Anyway, yeah, so like I said, this is gonna get sewn like here and probably down here, and then I will trim off all that excess. And so the cover of the book will have like basically uh, like, you know, another page. Only, um, only I'll probably put some laces and trims around it, and this'll, this will be all, um, this will be all trimmed up. So you won't really see too much of that. It's just one of those fabrics I've got in a tin that I 
you know, I'm like, okay, I can use this for whatever. Like I use, I have a, a bin of fabrics also that I use for, to reinforce spines on books or on um, um, altered books and that kind of thing. And it's just, it's the fabric I will never use for anything else. So that's what this is. Um, if I were going to, like with the birdsong book, I actually uh, really, I chose the fabric for the outside um, because, because I wasn't going to cover it. So I wanted to, I have it right here. <laughs> so, um, so with the birdsong book, I really wanted this fabric to show. So I didn't cover it with anything, right? Um, so I put this on the front, but that was that was it so um yeah so anyway it's gonna look something like this when it's done but somebody had asked me if I would show you guys how to put it together and uh, I'm assuming that person had not ever se had not seen the birdsong book so so that's how it's gonna go together you get two pieces of fabric sew them together trim off your edges and then you get however many pages you have. I needed um, two pieces of fabric for the amount of pages that I have. Um, and then again, sew down the middle, attach your pages and then trim off the edges, trim off your excess. And then um, if you want to add something in between, you can, like I did here. See these, this, was all added this was added in between the pages so I will probably do something like that as well for this book and um, yeah and so uh, so what I have to finish doing the only thing I have to finish doing besides constructing the whole thing is um, I is the, the panels that are going on the front and the back I still have to finish stitching those. So the front panel is going to be just like an embroidered house. I'm not doing like a, I'm not doing like a fabric house like this. I'm just stitching, um, but it's going to be on uh, just a plain piece of muslin or whatever. So, and I'm going to do the back. Although I don't think it's going to be a house on the back, but I am stitching something on the back as well. So there you go. Um, I will come on and show you this when it is completely finished, but uh, yeah, so just a real quick look at the houses. Um, this was so much fun to make. It really was. It was hard to, you know, like keep up with sometimes because I just had so much else going on, but I knew I wanted to get this for her birthday. Um, And you can see also, like, these don't have to be exact. <clears throat> Excuse me, this house is, this uh, page is bigger than this page. And that's fine. You can fudge that with um, uh, lace and stuff around the edges. You know, th it's, this is for you to use your scraps. It's not, um, it's not meant to be this exact perfect thing. That's kind of like, it goes against the, um slow stitching anyway right like <laughs> the rules of slow stitching are thou shalt not be perfect so there you go there you go this was fun all right the next time i see you i probably will have a journal flip through um it's the last of the consignment not consignment um commission journals that i agreed to do and then after that i probably will show you the finished house book and um and i will talk to you later take care guys be safe bye bye